Hello and welcome to Termino Joomla Tips. Termino Joomla Tips is a screencast brought to you by ContiCreative.com. My name is Marco and I'll be your host for this issue Termino Joomla Tips. This week I'm going to show you the brand new Joomla 1.6 beta. I had to make a confession here. I have made a whole podcast on the alpha version thinking that it would be at least a couple of weeks before the beta would come out but it beat me to the punch so we're going to be discovering the beta version sort of together Joomla 1.6 incidentally was my first podcast when Joomla 1.6 first came out I just started doing the podcast and it seemed like a natural to start with it at the time it was a very limited uh, release looking mostly like Joomla 1.5 with a few weird things here and there Joomla 1.6 beta is very different. It's almost a production ready script. As you can see, we have an, a front end here that explains a little bit about Joomla 1.6. I believe that they're gonna add to it in the next beta versions until the full release, which at this point, I don't think is gonna be that far in the future. But let's go look at the administration first. Let's log in. And this is, by the way, running on my local XAMPP server, so it's not live anywhere, unless you come to my house and want to have tea with me, or a beer, depending on the time of day. By the way, one of the first things that I noticed when I started playing around with the new beta version was that SCF URLs seem to be on by default. You can see that there. And they seem to work pretty well. That is certainly a refreshing thought with Joomla. The first thing that I want to go over is the global configuration. There isn't a lot of change here if you remain in the first three tabs in the global configuration, except here for many more options, well, not many, five instead of three options in the SEO settings. We have yes and no, and as you can see, they're already releasing it with the SCF on. Using mod rewrite is set to no by default. Add suffix or not, and that would be the HTML at the end of the URL add site name to page titles. I have to say that in this version, the developers have done a very good job to try to bring Joomla up to SEO standards. There is a lot more choices. I'm still learning them, so bear with me, and I guess going and downloading your own copy and test it out will be probably the best way to discover everything that's new in the, this version of Joomla. But the third tab is what is interesting, is the permission. And this is one of the major innovations in Joomla. We have very granular permissions for everybody. And as we will see when we go over the user tab, we have brand spanking new capabilities with our users and our access levels. Let's leave the global configuration and let's go to the users. We go to the user manager. And as promised, we don't have just the users, but we have also the groups that these users can belong to and we can make our own groups so if we click on new we can create any groups that we like we can also choose what other groups this new group is gonna be assigned with and we're gonna make this author type group and we're gonna save and close we can also do seven new as you can see all over Joomla now instead of just save there is save and new which is indeed a, a very nice feature it saves you some time when you are in production once we create our groups, we had to give them an access level. Now, of course, the new user group and access level is something that deserves its own podcast or maybe its own series of podcasts. So I won't go too much into it. But the bottom line here is that we create our own groups and we can choose what type of actions these groups can take in Joomla. We want to show them a certain pages that other groups cannot see. Uh, we want to give them access to components that other groups cannot access. Now, this is something that has been a long time coming with Joomla and uh, many talented developers have developed solutions to overcome this Joomla limitation. They are all quite complicated and uh, I'm pretty sure that the built-in solution in Joomla is going to confuse a lot of people as well. Uh, right now Joomla 1.5 only has a few access levels but as far as the front end there are only three access levels public, registered and special which is just for administrators so there aren't many choices. It's easy to get a handle of that. A page is either public or you had to register and log in to see it. With these new groups and access level, things get a lot more complicated. A page can be viewable by registered users, but only registered users that belong to a certain group. So regular re registered users might not see 
Wikipedia page, but other groups can. Naturally, this opens up a wealth of possibilities, and I'm sure that third-party developers will capitalize on that and offer even more granular access and uh, new components that are going to allow us to make even more powerful websites. Let's move on to the menu system. As in Joomla 1.5, we have a menu manager, but this menu manager has been changed quite a bit. You can see here that when uh, you get into the menu manager, you have your menus. You also have a list of modules linked to the menu. That's a nice touch, very nice touch. Also, when uh, you are in the screen, you can switch quickly through the tab system to the menu items. And once you are in menu items, you can select which menu you can work with to the select box. Staying in the main menu, we see that there is not much new here except for the new way to get here from the general menu manager. If we create a new menu, however, we see that there are a few changes uh, all for the better i must say we have a title we have a menu item type so when we create a new link we just select a new link and then from the link interface we click on select and we choose what type of link we are creating through a model window i might add so i believe this makes the process a little faster than joomla 1.5 other than that we can also change which menu we are creating the link in again we don't have to exit the menu link interface to another menu and create the menu again we can simply create a new link and then choose which menu we are gonna place the link into what we're gonna link it to and so on and so forth we also have a list of modules for this menu link this is a feature that is currently available through third-party extensions but it's nice to see it built in into the menu system as in the rest of Joomla 1.6 we also have a save and new so we don't have to exit and uh, start the process again we just create a new a new link and go on with our work while we're creating this link we can also choose the access level of this link which is basically who's gonna be able to see it and uh, and click it and we can also choose if this is the default page of the site or not Another thing that we can do is choose the template style from here. This is uh, uh, something that I personally haven't learned very well yet, but it appears that there is a, a slightly new template system in Joomla 1.6 that has different presentations inside each template. Okay, let's move on. I'm going to click on cancel and we got to hurry up. Otherwise, I'm going to have to rename the podcast an afternoon with 10 minute Joomla tips. Next is the content. Let's go to the article manager. And again, we see in the article manager another big theme of Joomla, which is speeding up the administration. If you remember the old Mambo, in Mambo it was very cumbersome to go from one area to the other of the site. In fact, uh, at the time, tabbed browsers were just coming onto the market and I remember opening several tabs, each in a different area of the administration because that was the only way to do things quickly. In Joomla 1.6, we are in the article manager and we can create articles. However, we also have the categories right here. So we don't have to make big leaps and drill down in the menu to go from the articles to the categories to the feature articles. They're already here in a handy tab. And here in the category section, we can see that there is no sections. Where did the sections go? Well, the sections became categories. They should have always been categories. I don't know who came up with the idea of the sections, but this is a, a giant leap for Joomla. We no longer have sections, but we have nested categories. This is something that we covered in in the first release of Joomla 1.6 but it's still very very important you can see here that we have nested category there are one category this is a super category if you will then we have a child category another child category and then a bunch of children categories so you can develop whatever structure you want in Joomla you can actually make your content uh, mirror what your uh, menu navigation is and we also have the featured articles in the same section of the article manager. This is the end of part one of an introduction to Joomla 1.6 beta. Please watch part two. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.